the same warmth and professionalism that they do everybody else. And I feel so lucky. Um, I will say that it's been eye-opening for me to be part of these um, Facebook groups and that there are people who definitely come from other backgrounds who um, the LGBTQ community is something they're not used to, or um, they come from a, a lifestyle or a way of believing that, that sees it as a negative. Um, and that's been kind of eye-opening to me that people in our own community can sometimes have some negative things to say, um, some anti-LGBTQ things to say. Um, and so in that way, I feel like there's still some growing to do and there's still some, but I think that's more of a societal issue. That's not OM specific. Obviously. One person allowed. Hopefully now that's different. Um, <coughs> as far as what I would tell someone, it's really ironic that this is the question because like I said, on Sunday, Saturday, my sister-in-law found out that her childhood friend may have ocular melanoma and she is seeing my eye doctor, Dr. Matt Wilson in Memphis tomorrow to find out and have all the testing done. And it was just so crazy. I was sitting on the beach in Destin, Florida, and she hands me the phone to talk to her. And what I found myself saying to her was to have hope. Cause I said, you're talking to someone that's 13 years out, you know, it's not a death sentence. It's not like you're going to die tomorrow.